welcome to um, Dallas Family Garden. I'm Leslie, your Andy Gardener, and today I am going to be um, making this into a garden planter. This is a container I got from Walmart for um, $4.88. It's 17 gallons. Um, all I'm going to do is put some holes in the bottom and then fill it up. And I want to show you a cheap way to fill it up um, without breaking the bank. Paper, cardboard, my drill. Um, this is some uh, amendments. I'll show you when I go to use them. And this is some peat moss. And then I'll use my wood chips I have in my um, driveway. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I guess, make my holes. So I'm just going to pop some holes on the bottom of this thing. Okay, so that's going bulk it down. So I think I took too much pressure on here. And I popped it. That's alright, that's why they're 488. Sometimes you gotta keep going. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so since I got a big crack in here at the bottom, all I'm gonna do is uh Put the that hole and then the big crack and then these two holes. Alright. So I'm flip it over. So instead of buying a whole bunch of cotton soil, I'm just gonna use this newspaper. Okay, I'm gonna file it up. Did you get out? Well, as the most unhelpful garden helper ever, he's gonna get better, y'all. I promise. Following this all up, and yeah, I know it looks cool, but once I start putting the wood chips in here, it's gonna go down. I even got an old soap bottle. Toilet paper rolls. You can also use those to plant in. He's over there. I see over there. Boaz, come on. He's not coming. Because this is cracked at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the location to where I want it to be when I continue to fill it up. So when it gets heavy, I don't have to move it. So I wouldn't throw it away. Some people would be like, no, put it in the trash, it's all messed up. No. You need drainage anyway, so you just be a uh, that hey it has a rip at the bottom and you probably don't want to be moving it around. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Bo! Boy! Come on! Come on! Be a good boy! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! He's, no. He's not coming. Yes he is. Wait, he's gonna hurt himself. 
Alright, so um Hold on wait. Do you want me to just leave him like that? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so my daughter's gonna help me with the camera, thank you, my daughter. Alright. So it seems like it's still frozen. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on because I've gotten a spinner with this shovel so many times. Um He can't reach him. Okay, sorry. No, you're all right. Splinter suck. Alright, so. This has been here since last summer. And that puppy, he does too much. Come on. Bob. See, this is why I can't never do nothing to him. Can you please check and make sure he ain't doing something? Because I feel like he's over in the neighbor and I. So, a lot of this is already broken down a little bit. Should I be following you? Mom, are you going to do a voiceover or are you going to still use your voice in the video? I don't know. I have to listen and see. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Why? Because you like you don't want your voice in the video? I mean, I'm just asking. Well, do you want your voice in the video? Do you care? Um, I mean, I guess not. I didn't say nothing helpful, though. I mean, so? That looks really gross. It does. Alright, so put the scraps in there. I'm just gonna add some heat moss on top. And I am going to I had a water leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top. The bucket. What's he doing? He's over in the neighbor's yard again. I don't know why. He just, I think it's because he gets attention. It's like a tumor. Is he outside? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. He wasn't last time I looked. Okay, so. Mm. I'm just going to put a couple of hands on there. So, I really want it to be over in this area. Move this. Because of the strong winds, I put the book on there to cover it. Alright, 
so this is what I prepared the container for is my hibiscus um, if you look around the house you'll see all the other ones are blue and those are going to be for my trees and then there will be bulbs in that one at the end move it. They're like falling apart. Alright. So I kind of want it right in this area. So I'm just going to put some to level it out. Okay, I think that's good. Alright. Bo. Can't do nothing without him doing something. Stop! He's eating old chicken kitchen scraps. Stop! I'm trying to feed my blood, not you. You have food. Right there. Yeah. Did I put some over here? I did. They didn't come up. That's all right. Okay, so. Just gonna replant everything, I guess. I guess I need to remember what I did. This is good dirt, by the way. I just gonna leave this on the ground. That's why. We're gonna put this along the side because this is not as wide as. I would have never, ever, ever done that in a million years, two years ago. Two years ago, I would have never touched them with gloves on. You can do it, I promise. Okay. Oh, look at how these roots. Sir, Mr. Hibiscus, you like this soil, didn't you? These balls, I'm gonna move them so I can hurt them. That's crazy. Why don't we do three? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Look at these roots. I done broke half of them, but look at them. Oh, in the wood chips, honey. Um, think so? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, a little bit? I'll take a little bit. I'm going to put some of these rotted 
the chips. Then they have. Because they obviously are doing some good for this drink. And see, now I can just fill it up. And I didn't have to buy nothing, y'all. I didn't have to buy nothing. I had peat moss already from last year. perfect for Jesus to love you. Okay. Look at that. Some people use plastic products whew, to fill a container. Um, but I don't have to go back in here and do anything when these roots get deeper. And uh, the cardboard newspaper will just break down. The soil level will go down and I'll just add more soil at the top. So I don't have to repot this big old thing. Because it's going to be a big old thing. So, yep. Just waiting for it to start popping. I hope it's still alive. I don't know. This is my first year for this tree. It's supposed to be hardy in my zone, but Everybody knows what happened. We had that lovely, crazy weather. So. All right. I'm gonna press something to start it. I don't want it all the way filled to the top, but I don't want any big gaps of air in here either. Because I want to be able to mulch. Put some nice good wood chips on here. So I wanted to put in unbroken wood chips, unbroken down wood chips in with the soil. But those things is broken down, so we just gonna rock with it. And now this container He's gonna... turned himself into a circle and now he can't get as far as he used to. Anyway, so this container is gonna go in the front. Um and then I'm gonna have a container garden in the front. I'm gonna finish I'm gonna put chicken chicken scraps, Lord Jesus, that's the future. Kitchen scraps in the uh, container garden or excuse me the right there right here mm -hmm. and then i have some uh grow bags that i'm gonna line up along the sides i'm trying to grow as much as i possibly can this year y'all because i got a lot of people to feed <laughs> talking about the neighborhood i'm talking about anybody that's hungry <laughs> so i'm talking about so um don't just grow for yourself grow with the intention to share for someone else not just your immediate family, I'm talking about your neighbors, your um, secondary family, not your family that you had unbeknownst to your wife. I'm talking about your sister and your cousins and all that other stuff. So, um, y'all got any questions? If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to grow this community. Um, may God bless you guys. Grow good inside and out. Thank you, Jesus.